So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Friday, it's a new Dax function every Friday. In today's Dax Fridays, I'm going to talk about age, how to calculate age in Power BI, both using Power Query and Dax, and we're going to use the Dax function for that, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've got contacted on LinkedIn, it was uh, Henry, he told me, hey, uh, your calculation of age in Power Query doesn't work. I have a video on that where I show you there, there is actually a... If you go to date of birth and then you go to transform date age, this will calculate age for you. I have it here uh, as a custom column. So it is basically today I created a column so you can see what date is today and then the date of birth and then you can just subtract Convert it into dates and divide it by 365. That's why I show you in the video. But and here's the thing. He was right. This won't work everywhere. I'm surprised that they have that calculation as age when it doesn't work. Anyhow, here's the issue. Here you have somebody that is born in October 67, and you see that he's 52 years old, which is true. But here you have another person that is born on July 67, and here it says he's 53 years. So what is the problem? The problem is basically that not all the years are 365. Some years are 366, like this year. So this calculation won't give the correct answer. So he was telling me, Ruth, look into your frac. That will help you. So we're going to do just that. We're going to look at year frac. And this calculates the difference between two dates, but it does it on a base, on a different baseline. So it's like date diff, but for a calendar. And you have the start date and the end date, the same as date diff, but you have here a third parameter, which you can have put the zero, one, two, three, four, and zero is when you assume that all months are 30 days and all years are 360 days. And this is for financial calculations, so you even out everything. This would be the, an actual calendar, so how many years you have and how many months and days you have for real. And then here again, this is for different calendars in different regions. So to calculate the year, you would have to use one, right? Because that will give you a normal calendar. So kind of, let me show you, let me show you. If we go to Power BI and we just close and apply, we're going to do the same calculation. This is the age in Power Query using 365, right? So if we go to new column and we put DAX, 365 and I put year frac and then I put the start date is date of birth and the end date is today and then if I put here 3 which is basically 365 you see that we get the same calculation exactly the same in Power Query. So if you put three here, it assumes that all years have 365 days, which they do not. Now, let me do a new one. If I put DAX actual, and then we do the same thing. We put a year frac, and then we put date of birth, and then we put total today, sorry, <laughs> to total. And then I put one, if you remember one was the one that was the actual, the, the true calendar. This is what you get. You get for this person that wasn't born in October 67, he is 52.7 years old. But weirdly enough, for the person that was in July 67, it is 52.98, which well, doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So it doesn't really calculate it correctly either in my eyes. <laughs> because it's somebody that was born in July should be young as somebody that was born in October. But because you're probably going to round this down, you're going to get 52 years, which is the correct answer. Would it be a day that it doesn't work? Maybe. Just let me know if you have found it. But this doesn't seem to do the exact trick. Maybe to, to get it exact, exact, you have to create a calendar and count the days, basically. Now, can we have... DAX actually in Power Query. And yes, we can. I'm going to show you. Because 
some years have 366, but it says every fourth year. Let me do a new calculate. We're going to add a new column, custom column, and we're going to call it Power Query Actual. We're going to put 365.25, which means that we're basically that extra day we are dividing it with the years that do have 365. So bear with me. So if we do it like that, and then I just close and apply, we can compare it to the DAX actual. And you see that you get almost the same result. Okay, so maybe that's what GeoFrac is actually doing. I mean, it's syntax sugar for something. Who knows? I don't know what it's syntax sugar for, but this at least seems to calculate fairly similar. And I think H should be calculated in Power Query if possible, so you don't have to have a calculated column for that. Although you could have a measure, obviously, but. Um, if you need to see the years, or you want to put them in buckets and things like that, do it in Power Query. Anyhow, so have you used your frac one base one? Let me know if you have any issues. Have you found any other way to calculate ages? Let us know. And uh, that's all for today. I will see you again on Monday with a Power Query video. Until then, enjoy your weekend and uh, take care. Bye bye.